the one thing worse than the devil. As bad as the devil is, and he is, he is not the worst enemy you will ever have to face. You see, what the devil can do is limited. We see in the narration of Job that the devil can only go so far. The devil can only do what God permits to happen. The devil's reign on an individual's life is limited. He can only go so far. He can't do anything he wants to people. There is an enemy much worse than the devil in my opinion. An enemy that is beyond the devil. An enemy which literally has no limit to how much it can destroy a person and their life. And that enemy is lust. Have you ever noticed in the Word of God we are actively encouraged to fight the devil? We are actively encouraged to actively resist him. James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. But on the other hand we are actively encouraged to flee lust. 2 Timothy 2 verse 22 Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. That alone should tell you a lot about lust and its dangers. In my opinion, lust is worse than the devil. Lust is a problem, a bigger problem than you could ever imagine. Lust is something that men who wrote the Bible struggled with. Do you understand the fact that people who literally wrote the Bible had to deal with lust in their own lives? Do you know what that tells me? That tells me that you and I are not above the problem of lust. Regardless of how old you are or young you are, Lust is something that you have to deal with and something that you have to continue dealing with for the rest of your life. I had this misconception when I was young that when I became an adult I will no longer have to deal with lust. I will somehow be able to overcome it but I got older and lust was still something I had to battle. I got married I had children, I celebrated my 50th birthday, but still, lust was still something that I had to deal with. Don't fool yourself or kid yourself and believe that you are above lust. My friend, whilst you are still in this fleshly body, lust is something that you will have to wage war against. Look at David. David was not an average man. He was an extraordinary man. From a very young age, David was extraordinary. Before he was a fully grown man, he was busy killing lions and bears. While other boys were busy playing hide and seek, David was going toe to toe with lions and bears. From a very young age, David was an extraordinary person. He wrote, a number of chapters in the Bible before he was the age of 30. Whilst he was on the run from Saul, David wrote passages of scripture that still touch people till this day. Before the age of 30, David was writing scripture. Now what surprises me is that a man who writes so much of the book of Psalms before he is 30, you would think that a guy like that has life sorted. But this same man, around the age of 50, sees a lady called Bathsheba, a beautiful, beautiful woman, and lust filled his heart. And she became pregnant after David saw her bathing on a rooftop and had her brought to him. David then ordered that Uriah, this lady's husband, be moved to the front line of a battle where he was killed. This is my subject for today, ladies and gentlemen, lust. 
This is a man who was writing the Bible before he had even touched the age of 30. This is a man who the Bible calls David a man after God's own heart, twice. But lust made him make a stupid decision. Allow this sermon to be a warning to you and me. Lust has a deceptive nature about it. It's not only lust that has a deceptive nature about it, it is sin in general. Sin has a deceptive nature about it. Sin has the unnatural and subtle ability to lay dormant for years. Sin has the ability to fool a person, to make them think that they have overcome that specific sin. And indeed, years may pass, and even decades may pass by, but that sin is not gone. It is waiting. It is waiting. Waiting for the right circumstances to fall into place. Just waiting. Sin is patient. Sin is patient. Sin is patient. That is the deceptive nature of sin. It will lull you into a false sense of security, a false sense of security that you don't have to be so diligent in guarding against that specific sin anymore. And as time moves on, you begin to lower your guard and believe that you have overcome this sin. Years can pass by, decades can pass by, and once the right circumstances fall into place, that sin which was dormant for years strikes again and comes in full force. It comes with all of its glory, and that is the deceptive nature of lust. Lust will hide from you and make you think you don't need to guard against it. Lust will take your family away from you. Lust will make you make decisions you regret. Lust will destroy your health. Lust will quite literally ruin your life. Lust will dictate your decisions. I have seen it with my own eyes. Pastors see these things. Spending decades in the ministry, you see how lust can destroy a life, how lust can destroy a home, how lust can destroy a marriage. I have seen how lust can flip the trajectory of a person's life. Lust unchecked can and will pull a person where they don't want to go. They will wake up one day and wonder, how did I get here? How did I get so low? Lust. I have seen lust to join two people together who hate each other to raise a child. I have seen lust walk down the aisle and say, I do. I have seen lust make people ignore red flags and go ahead with a marriage. I have seen lust lead a man to walk out on his wife and children that loves him to go off with another younger woman to start a new family. I have seen lust make people go back on their promises. I have seen lust make people spend all of their money. I have seen lust reduce people to tears over their decisions. People are so quick to say the devil this, the devil that. No, sometimes it is because lust. We find ourselves in the situation we find ourselves. The Bible tells you to flee from lust. It doesn't say pray and fast to overcome lust. The Bible does not say sing songs of praise to overcome lust. The Bible does not say read your Bible. It says flee. Get as much distance from you and lust as possible. The moment you find yourself in a situation that is conducive to lust, don't pray and ask God for strength. Run. Flee. 2 Timothy 2 verse 22 Flee also youthful lusts, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Look at David. Look at David. The Bible calls David a man after God's own heart twice. 1 Samuel 13 verse 14 but now thy kingdom shall not continue. 
The Lord hath sought him a man after his own heart, and the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. Acts 13 verse 22 And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave their testimony, and said, I have found David the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. If it can happen to David, a man who was in his fifties, no one is immune. If you are a pastor, you have to stay on guard against lust. If you have been married and faithful for twenty-five years, you still have to stay on guard against lust. If you are a young lady with her whole life ahead of yourself, you have to stay on guard against lust. Allow me to make this as practical as possible. If you find yourself alone with a person you find attractive who isn't your spouse, and you see the situation could end up leading you into fornication or adultery, don't rely on your self-control. Don't waste time attempting to assess the situation. Remove yourself from the situation. Don't waste time attempting to spiritualize the situation. Remove yourself from the situation. Don't waste time attempting to act like Sister Holiness. Remove yourself from the situation. Don't waste time attempting to act like Brother Sanctification. Remove yourself from the situation. Brothers and sisters, I tell you this with love. Listen to this old man. This life experience that I am talking with right here, the Bible, is so true. There is no book that knows and understands human behavior like the Bible. And the Bible says for you to deal with lust, flee. Flee.